this over here. Jesus says, here, man, I got I to make sure the salad's just right. All the main course is poured in it. Oh, man, I, I got to put the rolls in. The rolls. we got to put the rolls in and run it around. And, 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 uh, and we're so stressed out. And we have so much to do. And, and we're, we're trying to accomplish something for the Lord. We're trying to please the Lord. We're, we're trying to do these things for Him. We're trying to live right. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine? She pokes her head around the kitchen like, where, where'd Mary go? And she, there she is, sitting at the feet of Jesus. <laughs> I bet she went back in the kitchen and tried to work some more, but she was getting madder and madder by the second. Oh, yeah. She was I don't up. think madder is a word, but that's what she was getting. Madder and madder by the second. Finally, she can't take it anymore. She bursts in the door. Jesus! Tell her to help me! Uh-huh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So tenderly, produce my friend. Mary's chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Before we see our last morning, I just want to urge you if you're here this morning and you've perhaps lost your cutting edge, I, I, mean, I mean, the Christian life has just become frustrating. If you, if you, if there's been a time where you've been closer to God than you are right now. There's a coldness that's crept in. Uh, there's a hardness that's crept in. There's all the other things that have come and choked out that time that you usually have with the Lord. Can I put it this way? Don't try to keep on doing the work of God with just the hand. If you've lost the accent, if you've lost your cutting edge, don't keep working with just the handle. You ever try to cut down a tree with a piece of wood before? It's not effective. You try to continue to do the work of God without the power of God, you aren't helping. You're hurting the cause of Christ. Amen. You're hurting the cause of Christ, and can I say you're hurting yourself? Yes. In this illustration, you're the handle. <laughs> you beat a, a handle against a tree long enough, it's going to start to splinter and break. Yes. True. And that's what happens to us when we lose our cut. We start to break Because it doesn't work without it. But I leave you on this note, number three, the locating of the accent. The locating of the accent. Verse number six. And the man of God said, where fell it? And he showed him the place. Listen, we're going to get our cutting edge back It'll often be right where we lost it. Yes, sir. And if you lost your cutting edge when you stopped spending time with God, then you need to get back there. If you lost your cutting edge when you when you when, when, it's, when sin got into your life, you need to go back and confess that sin and get it out so that you can go on. Amen. <laughs> this young man, I think this is significant. He had to admit that he had lost the cutting edge and he had to realize where he lost it at. Where fell it? Said the man of God. That's often what you find. And then he says this. Where fell he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in thither. And the iron of this earth. To me, this looks like a beautiful picture of the cross. Beautiful picture of the cross. Let me tell you, if you find yourself in a powerless place in your Christian life today, you, can do, you can't do any better than run to the cross. Right. Yeah. Run to the cross upon Calvary. Look up there and, uh, upon the, the Savior that your sin nailed to that cross. And let me tell you something. First John 1 verse 9 isn't just for the unsaved. No, no, no. It's for the Christian. Yes. And we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us. Why? Yes. Yes. Why? Oh, it. The cross is a place of salvation, but the cross is a place of restoration. Amen. The cross Amen. is a place you can go to if you've lost your way and you can find direction. The cross is a place where you can go if you've lost your power and you can find that power. Go back to the cross. Get back on your knees. Amen. And let me tell you something. When the powers, when the power of God is there, all of a sudden, the miraculous starts taking place. Did you, did, 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 did you notice yeah. it? Did you see it in verse number 6? He cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. 
I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot, but I know iron doesn't slip. <laughs> right. Right. And iron sinks. Yes, sir. And all of a sudden, the power of God enters the situation. And the natural is not happening anymore. The supernatural starts to take place. That iron is not only not sinking. You remember the Jordan River? <laughs> That's the one that God had to park for his people to get across. That's right. right. That's right. This is Nolan Creek. Now, this, 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 this accent is fighting against the buoyancy of, or, or, I don't know what the word is, but you're fighting against sinking, but it's also fighting the current. Right. And as those young men are standing there by the bank, all of a sudden, boop, 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 there's that little accent floating along like a leaf on the top of the water. Woo! <laughs> but then notice verse 7. Therefore said he, take it up to thee. And he put out his hand and took it. Amen. Come on. Pastor can't get your cutting edge back for you. True. I know I sure can. I'm struggling enough with keeping my own cut edge. <laughs> it's going to be up to you. That's right. Well, so, you know, I'm, I, maybe I'm, if I'm too busy to nourish my soul before the throne of heaven, maybe I'm too busy. Mm. I'm going to have to cut some things out. I'm going to have to take a step back. back. I'm going to have to, to, to rearrange my plans and get them, get them in line with God's plans. I'm going to have to wrestle with God a little bit. I'm going to have to get into the secret place. I'm going to have to get into my closet and close the door because I need God and I need His power if I'm going to accomplish anything of eternal significance. You lost your cutting edge this morning. You fall, you fall down at the feet of Satan and allow Him to restore and he will. Oh, he will. You see, he wants to use you even more than you want to be used. Amen. He wants to open up the windows of heaven and pull you on this. He wants to use you in ways you could never have imagined. But it all starts when we have that relationship with him. It all starts when we prioritize that relationship with him. And it all starts when we spend that time in the secret. I'm close with this. In the 19th century, a, a biologist by the name of John Faber, he was known for his books on the lives of insects. Real page turners, I tell you. <laughs> books about bugs. But he did this experiment with what are called processionary caterpillars. And he took a pot, a, 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 a clay pot, if you will, and he filled that pot up with dirt about halfway, three quarters of the way. And then he took pine needles, which were the favorite food of these particular caterpillars he was studying. And he took a pile of pine needles and put it right there in the middle of the pot. And then he took these caterpillars and he began to put them along the rim of the pot. And he put them around until they had formed an unbroken circle around the top of that clay. And they began to follow each other. Processionary caterpillars, they just follow the one right in front of them. And they begin to follow each other around the rim of that pot and just go and go for hours, for days. Until finally they begin to drop down from exhaustion. When what they needed to sustain was right there in the middle. Christian, if you find yourself like that kind of person, oh, I just gotta keep going, I just gotta keep going, oh man, I, I just gotta, uh, yeah. I just gotta, I gotta do this, oh, I gotta do this, we find ourselves here, take time yeah. to be still, and know that he is God. It's a lost right. heart in America, I believe, we, we got this, whenever there's a moment of quiet, we, we pull this yeah. out. We won't tap it on. Look, we're gonna have the spirit. To have the power be so desperate, we need to be quiet, we need to be still. We need to open up this morning. So, Lord, we thank you this morning for your word.